Hello guys, welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Fallout Tactics. You have me, Haxy Rage, and we just finished, um, what mission is this? Is this the fourth mission? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it took us like four episodes to do it. So I guess it's the third mission. In any case, got lots of stuff to sell, and um, upgrade our dudes. <clears throat> Hopefully they get a bit of armour now, because uh, I've been quite close to death a few times. Um, right, let's... Go over to the. Uh, it has been quite a quite a while since I've uh, been here on my last uh, let's play. I think it's been about six months, so I do have to try and remember where everything is. I think there's some dude that sells stuff here. Is that right? Or maybe this dude? No. Oh, that's no, no. That's the dude I saved. It could be. Where are you? Over here. That's where you are. <coughs> Excellent. We'll dump it all on Stitch. He's got the highest bar uh, barter skill. And uh, see what we can get. Hopefully, got some new stock in. Weapons check. Yeah, <laughs> where's bed? Yeah, you might have whispered it, dude, but we still heard it. Right, Stitch is where he needs to be. You guys all stand here and give him all your shit. Start with you, Haxi. Right. Um, I'm gonna um, cut this so you guys don't have to watch it all, and I'll uh, continue recording when I'm ready to buy something. Okay, after um, sorting out all the loot and um, putting it up all, up all up for sale, I decided to go for the Leather Armor Mark II. We'll probably end up giving that to Haxi and Stitch. That'll do for now. Ooh, 12k, look at that! Pretty rich! Um, <clears throat> we'll go over to the, uh, the medical dude, see if he's got any first aid box and stuff. Stitch uh, burn through a fair few in that uh, in that uh, level. <coughs> Let's have a look. Oh, this is a recruit master. Might as well have a look at you while we're here. See if we can replace some. Um, oh, who just leveled up? Does this just mean we've got new people? I, got, I don't know. Um, are there people that are new? Let's have a look then. Uh, how, do I, how do I go to the next one? I don't know. That's this dude's pretty cool. I uh, wear this. Do you know what? He would have been a really good one actually. He's already got sneak. Wow, he's actually pretty good. Hmm. There's him to consider. That's for sure. His name's Rage. Hello. Well, if Stitch ever goes down, there's our next, uh, our next medic, I guess. Ice. Um, okay. Well, there's some, definitely, this dude to consider. I really like him. Was it him? No, not him. The other dude. Rage. He's pretty cool. Steel, sneak, and lockpick tagged. And awareness. Awareness is always handy. Um. Let's look at you, Brian. Anyway, carrying on. I get my next little twist too quickly about all that. And small guns do become a little bit obsolete later as well, so I don't want to invest in too much in someone with small, uh, small guns. And uh, you're the medical officer. Where's Stitch? Hurry up. Come on, got some trading to do. <coughs> cool. How much are med boxes? Grand, pretty much. Super stims are hideously expensive, if I remember. How much is it for like one? for one of those as well. I'll take the med boxes and I'll leave it there. Done. Cool. Well, we are good to report to uh, Barnaki. General Barnaki. Go on, Hexy. Let's have a look at him. Our work in this region is complete, warrior. 
The time has come to expand. We'll be shifting the focus of our operations to the new bunker in the south. Take your squad and rendezvous with us there. Cool. So we've taken over this region. I like. So... We did see Nanako, didn't we? There he is. Let's have a word with him, see if he's got anything to say. Nanook, we saved you! Brotherhood Shaman is bad as Daisy! He give Nanook invasive swab test that really hurt! Nanook no take Brotherhood Shaman's pills to get rid of Rash. No trust man who caused Nanook great pain! I will dip little tribal in oil and chase away the evil spirits with fire! Uh-huh. Well, you let us know how that goes, Nanook. <laughs> and, uh... Good luck with your little tribal. Right then, <coughs> to the exit grid and to our new base. With your initiation now over, the Brotherhood reveals to you their highest objective. Fragments of data left over from before the Great War showed that the ancients spent many years constructing vaults to house the survivors. Recently acquired data, however, points to the creation of an enormous super vault. This nucleus of the vault network was built to protect the greatest minds of the time and would be the spearhead of post-war civilization. If the Brotherhood could find this vault and activate its systems, they would have access to technology resources previously undreamed of, as well as access to the ancients themselves. But the journey to the calculated location of Vault Zero would be perilous. A large army and a vast area of operations would be required for a mission of this magnitude. They plan to follow the Roaring River to the south, forging alliances, gaining fresh recruits, and, if necessary, eliminating aggressors. Bunkers will be established in each new region to firmly establish a secure area of operations. When the Brotherhood's rule in the region is undisputed and their ranks are brimming with new recruits, the real campaign will begin, heading back towards the mountains. Well, Bunker Beta, here we come. That's a pretty cool plan, if you ask me. Go to an old vault, uh, a vault, take all its goods, and yeah. We, uh, the brother would be laughing after that. Ooh, what we got? An encounter. Does it say what it is? Nope. I just gotta find out. Ooh! A Roman. What the hell? Okay, something's going on. Should we have a look? Maybe these Brahmin are innocent. And they're not trying to blow me up like, as I said before. Ooh. So, I predict it's going to be something like... I was going to say dogs, but... No, those noises are pretty weird. Oh, it is dogs. Did a fucking cow just give me one? Yes, it did. Right, it's hunting season, boys. I'm gonna get your XP for you and try and blow up this dude. You next. You next. The dog's dead. What are you on? 70, 74, 78. These Brahmin seem pretty damn hard. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Gore, trample. Hmm. Okay then. Well. If I get killed and wiped by a bunch of cows, best ending to a Let's Play ever. Oh, Stitch. Why? One more step. You there. Yeah, these guys are really hard. <laughs> now, Jax, he's the one with the magic damage. This is what you can do. Okay, it's not so magic now, but... God, these guys are really hard. I should have just left it. I don't think these Brahmin are worth the trouble. <laughs> I really hope uh, they don't kick my ass too much. Oh, no. They could well kick my ass a lot. I thought, yeah, I'll come save these Brahmin. Turns out they're probably bloody harassing the dogs. 
Right, I'm just going to run up to you and give you one. Okay, that's nice. 21 points of damage, I like that. Um, yeah, I can't go a bit, I can't go too wild with this, uh, this AK. I might end up hurting all the peeps. Hacks, in fact. You get out of there and let some dude, uh, burst with his AK. In fact, I'll, I should be able to shoot him over here, no problem. Excellent. Uh, Jax. Get in there, my friend. Give them what for? Oh, I've crippled, ooh, I've crippled his leg. That means, if shit goes south, at least I can run away from that one. That's one down. I'm winning against the cows, that's a good sign. <laughs> well, how did I manage to beat raiders when these guys are so bloody hard to take down? Let, uh, well, furthermore, how did they get captured by the raiders? If they're so damn tough. Oh, that was pretty sick. Oh. Doggy to the rescue. Gonna help his friends. Who's, who's this? Brian. Brian, go away. Not really needed. He's almost dead. You can do it, Stitch. Look at it. Oh. Yuck. Trevor. Assist those dogs. Assistance completed! <laughs> oh man. I mean, I know they're going to turn on me right away, but I really wanted to help them out, the dogs out then, rather than uh, kill them, just in case. But yeah, it turns out I just made myself more of an enemy to them. No, no dogs. That, why did combat end? I wanted to kill him. Oh, that's robbery. Combat ended. Um, I don't suppose they have any loot, do they? That'd be a silly question, but no. So that was purely just for XP, really. Um, don't know if I got a lot, but yeah, it was pretty damn fun. Um, yeah, show sure those cows to mess with me. Especially after they scared the absolute bejesus out of me in that episode of the minefield. Anyway, back to uh, Bunker Beta. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and run away from them. And third attempt. Ugh. Dogs and raiders. Ooh. Nah. Ugh. No. Seriously. Leave me alone. <laughs> no. Finally! God dear me! Tisk, tisk, tisk. What are you tisking at, eh? Talk to him, see what he's up work out. Peck the mechanic at your service. How can I help you, warrior? I don't want to gamble, because I suck at it. Cool, toolkits. This mean, probably means uh, vehicles coming up soon. Vehicles are awesome. Um, nah, I've got enough stim packs. You can keep all that, all that stuff. Um, okay, yeah, we need to make contact with uh, that Barnaby dude, wherever he may be. Um, and, actually, just had a thought, is they might have more stock here. Um, seeing as it's a new base. Let's go get on mission first, shall we? I am tempted to get that Rage Geezer, just because it would be a clever pun on my name. Actually, not so clever, a pun nonetheless, though. Ooh, two missions. At ease, Initiate. As you know, the Brotherhood has been expanding south. However, our supply lines are thin and thus being targeted by all sorts of bandits and raiders. We have received a distress call from one of our squads acting as escort to a supply wagon passing through the town of Macomb. The single unit has been separated from the main group, and the road behind them has been blocked off. Our warrior is holding the fort for now but he could fall any minute. 
He needs immediate backup. Your mission is to journey to Macomb and relieve the survivor of his duty. You are then to escort the supply vehicle through the town. Keep in mind that not only bandits will attack our supply trains, the vast majority of the surrounding populace are hungry and desperate. Our supply wagons carry food, weapons, and medical supplies. The three most sought after commodities in the wasteland. Good luck. An initiate. Buckle up. Dismissed. Okay. And what about you? As you know, the Brotherhood maintains a vast arsenal of weaponry and armor. Most of our equipment consists of the usual conventional assortment. However, some of our more advanced equipment requires fusion batteries to function. Until we regain the technology to manufacture our own batteries, we must acquire these power sources elsewhere. This mission centers on a tribal village in the area of Prioria. Intelligence reports that the tribals built their village over a pre-war storehouse of fusion batteries. While they guard these batteries zealously, it is doubtful that they understand their function. While these savages no longer surprise me with their Neanderthal antics, do not underestimate them. They fight well enough to thrive in the wasteland, and their religious zeal, however misguided, gives them strength. You will use any means available to retrieve at least three fusion batteries. But remember, warrior, some fights can be won without drawing blood. Who knows? One day the Prioria region might supply some able-bodied recruits. You are dismissed. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with this one because I don't fancy a car mission just yet. Um, and... Right, who... I'm just going to go for my characters quickly, just because I really want that rage dude. It's going to be out of replacing this guy. He's got far short here and now. He's my shotgun dude. He's got kamikaze far short here and now. He's level 4. He's level 4. He's level 4. We're all level 4. Hmm. Far short is damn handy though. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, I might have to get rid of Jax, you know. As cool as he is, he can't really sneak. Do do do, do 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 do. Screw it, I'm just going to carry it on like it is. I know there's some pretty decent ones that come up later. That's a bit of meta for you. Um, I, did have a, I did have a team that I, I played, I may have played through this like once or twice, back in my teens, and I went with the same team, they just seemed to work really well. I am the yeah, we know who you are. Yeah, they haven't got any recruits. Okay, well it looks like we're going to that mission then. Um, sorry, yeah, as I was saying, the, the team works really well. I won't... Um, let you in on who I usually have right now. Oh yeah, as they come up, you should should generally see who I go with. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't have to pick. I just go to which one I want to. This was the tribal one, wasn't it? I think it was. Um, Beast Lords. No. Don't know if I mentioned before, but yeah, when going to a place like this, you want to make sure the sun's up there. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to hit stuff and. As you know, the Brotherhood yeah, maintains yeah, a this. vast arsenal. Um. Yeah, you don't get any um, nighttime ponies or whatever. Uh, unless you you got one of those um, dudes that have a perk like um, night person, where they uh, prefer to be in the night. Then strategically, you should fight in the night. That'd be quite a cool concept actually. Having a team that's all nighttime. I'd imagine the raiders would get pretty boned if they tried to take you on. Let's have a look. My ancestor welcome you. I chief Chevron chief Wachuto. My people live here in peace since night fire pour from sky. It is hard life, but we survive. I understand you require some of... Uh, what do you call them? Oh, fusion bats. Sadly, what you do cannot help you, friend. They kept where bad spirit go wait for entrance to hell. These very bad spirits, friend, 
kill my people and make bad smell. You chase away bad spirit, you may have bats and leave friend of what you do people. Hmm. Okay, um, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Point us to the bad people. Or bad spirits, rather. I'm just free to walk about in this place, looks like it. Dal the Shaman. You look pretty interesting, let's have a chat with you. I am Dal, spirit seeker of the Wachutu tribe. Chick? I sense you wish to enter the caves. Sounds like Listen Luke. to me then. Our small village has lived in isolation since the day of fire. Life was hard, but we remained true to our gods by not marrying outside the village. We must keep our bodies as pure as our faith. But the evil spirits have been hungry for our souls. Since the home of these spirits lie between life and death, their aura will poison your very life force. Any Wachutu who ventured there returned with vomit fever. If you are to go there, you must carry these blessed pebbles. The vomit fever cannot affect those of my people who have swallowed the pebbles. Here, take these. I blessed them with my own magic. I am Dal, spirit seeker of Wachutu. I have spoken. Very interesting. So, what he probably gave us was some Radaway pills. I spoke to him. Yes, look at those. But two, unless you didn't know Wachutu, dude. There's uh, there's six of us. Um, ooh, a turret. These guys are pretty well equipped for turrets, aren't they? Obviously, it's from the old base, but yeah. So, no. oh, look at this happy chappy waiting to kill us. Um, let's say not all, not all brotherhood objectives are to just go kill. Like, well, until I run down here and there's these guys everywhere. Okay, well, uh, come on, then, scorpion. See what you got. Damn it, these are tough. I hope. I really hope that I don't get. They don't have poison or whatever. I can fall up too. So I really don't want to be dealing with that. Especially because he, these things are really hard. What's going on? I really hope you can finish him, Brian. I'm a little bit scared now. This is just one. Yeah, let's not do the vehicle mission, he says. Oh. Up to you, Trev. Well, well. That was a hard scorpion. He took, like, at least one shot from everyone, that's for sure. Alright, end combat, please. Have we searched this dude? I think we have, haven't we? Yep. So, you, I think you can get scorpion tails from these dudes. They weigh a hell of a lot, but I think they're worth... No, okay. Maybe just fall out too, then. Hmm. Oh! Okay, at least these guys aren't bloody hard. But it looks like they're fairly difficult to hit. Okay, he took a bullet. Fair play to him. He's a little cockroach and he took a bullet. That's an achievement unlocked for that guy. Oh no. Oh no! Fire, fire! Oh, he managed to get a hit on Jax before I could do anything. Well, Jax is just going to say no to that. And to this one too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Jax. So... They said something about bad spirits. So far, it just looks like they're bugs. And I don't understand how tribesmen could get confused with bugs. Cool. I don't know why I got Haxi to run all the way by himself. 
but you can all join them. And then we'll end turn, that bug will come over. I assume. Oh, what's down here? Another bug. Yeah, as I was saying, um, they call these bugs bad spirits, and that's really a real newbie thing to get confused with. Being a tribesman, you know, living off the land and all. I'm sh I'm pretty sure they probably would have eaten most of these guys by now. One way or another, in a soup, on a stick, that sort of jazz. Uh, we'll just, um. Yeah, I'll just end combat and then come a bit closer. Come on, mate! Oh! Oh, that's just text. That's right, wait, I'm being really leery. Look up. Oh. oh, maybe that's impassable. Okay then. Did we search this dude? Oh. Oh, bad time to do anything. Kill him, please. Thank you. So I just picked up something interesting with sapphire, I think. That's kind of cool, Tiger Claws. What kind of damage does it do? 5 to 7. Pfft. Mind you, has any of our guys got um, melee as a skill? Like, tagged or whatever? It doesn't look like it. No. You've got. F who's got throwing? You have. I'm surprised I haven't given you grenades. Well, not I'm doing. Giving this man some grenades. It was it Brian? And uh, who's got grenades? It's you. Well, Brian, if you're going down, use these. Um, oh, I really should have um, concentrated on fast arts lockpick. I think there's a fair few locked things in this mission. And uh, oh, okay, that's a big bug. Okay, I need to be a little bit more cautious now. <clears throat> so poison, I think you need the antidote for to get rid of it uh, immediately. But I think it does it does wear off. Cool, Haxy killed the bug. Stitch, go show him. Go show him what happens. He obviously doesn't know you very well. Ugh. I really talk. <laughs> I talk uh, Stitch up really big sometimes. He just makes me look like a fool. And uh, who else we got? Brian. Kill this little bug here and we can carry on looting. Ugh. How's your enough shot? Sweet. Cool. Right, done. Where was I? Looting things. Poison. So, I can't really tell how severe the poison, what damage it does, over what amount of time, but super stims, those are always welcome. Um, is that it in here? It looks like it. Okay, carrying on. Ooh, nasty dude. Um. Oh. Oh. By the way. Sorted. End combat. So this bug dude, uh, big bug dude, around this corner. He's going to basically poison me the first instant it gets. Um. Explosion! Alright, okay, I'm going to run past. Miss? Yeah, he missed. Okay, well, uh, we'll pep him with all our snipers first, get him nice and low. Then we'll get one dude to run and finish him off. Almost thought I had a grenade out then, that would have been an error. I think you can just miss so bad with grenades. Cool. Oh, uh, run away! Jeez. Oh, missed the first one, got the second one. Dear me. Let's have a little reload quickly, shall we? 
Okay, I'll say so far so good. I mean, only a few bugs, so if I was to lose any people by now, I'd be noobing it up to the max. But, uh. Oh, I see you in there, you cheeky little bug. Let's take care of you, shall we? Oh! There's lots of bugs. Move towards that one and go. Oh, Jax. Help our friend Haxi out as he's running, got himself into a bit of a pickle. Move over one and. Nice. Um, if you stand here, you should be able to see him, right? Yeah. Cool. We're like professional exterminators at the moment. No, we're not, not entirely professional. I've got a little. A few bites here and there. I know a pro would be like bite free by now. Cool, antidote. That's what we needed. Um, are you still poisoned? Yes. Nah, I know the situation is going to get a lot worse later on, so I'll save those. Oh, this looks important. Yellow pass key. That's probably a really good thing to find early. Um, can I just run straight past this? No, they're going the long way around. Not a problem. Right, what else we got in here? I think we've um what's her name? Oh, that looks menacing. Um okay, well unfortunately or fortunately, depends on how what you're looking for in the episodes. There's been a lot of talking and trading and all the rest of it in this one. Um not much combat, but uh our next few episodes should be very packed with bug combat by the looks of it. Um, so tune in for next episode, thanks for watching, like and comment, and I'll see you in episode 11. Thanks again guys, I'll see you later, bye bye.